Good morning. We did it. Friday Coffee Talk number 17. Shout out to my sister who was the only one that noticed that I skipped number 15. Um, I realized when I was uploading everything to YouTube that I had done 10 twice. So I just skipped 15 to get back on track. So this is actually number 17. It's going to stay number 17. Um, I'm going to apologize in advance. You're seeing more of my floor and my cabinets than typical. Uh, my office chair broke this week. So every day that I've come down, the chair is a little bit lower to the ground and uh, it is extraordinarily uncomfortable. Um, that is the goal for this weekend is to get a new office chair. So apologize for the odd angle. We're going to deal with it for this week. So the neighbor Frank's is hot and it is mm, most excellent today. Speaking of, have you ever wondered why 17 videos in, like 80% of the things that I own have the word four on them? It's a good question. It all has to do with this right here. This is a book called Know What You're For by my good friend Jeff Henderson. And Jeff, I really apologize. I left the I lost the book jacket. So uh, you get this today, Know What You're For by Jeff Henderson. This book is an absolute game changer. Um, it has been something that we've weaved into our lives since we met Jeff. Um, but he has kind of uh, pulled it all together into one thing here called The Four Book. Um, and I'll tag it in the comments so you can go buy it for yourself. I highly recommend this book. It is incredible. And Jeff is such an awesome guy. Um, but the core concept around the book centers around the question, what do you want to be known for? It's a great question. It makes you think. Um, it makes you be introspective. And it makes you um, think about the, the image and the uh, purpose and the passion and the vision that you portray to other people, which to me is very important. It's very core to me. Um, what do you want to be known for in business, in personal, in your personal life, in your family, um, in any situation? What do you want to be known for? What are the values that you exude? What are the things that you do differently than anybody else that makes you uniquely you? Um, it's a, it's an incredible question. And I think even further, Jeff takes it in the book uh, to be about business and in sales in particular, his quote is, it's no longer good enough to be the best company in the world. We're looking for the best company for the world. Um, if you think about the biggest brands today and the most um, the most influential businesses, they're not the ones with the biggest sales numbers. The ones that you talk about with your friends, the ones that you post about online, they're not the ones that um, are the Goliaths that have the biggest revenues. They're the ones that impact you as a person the best. They're the ones that um, can interact with their customers and get that word of mouth advertising. And it's it's so important, especially in sales. I mean, being a sales guy, you have the stereotype of um, everybody just chasing the next commission check and being a catalog to just just be collecting orders. Um, back in the day, the in the you know the Wolf of Wall Street days, it was this um, this notion of um, do anything, lie, cheat, and steal to get what you want, and it's just not good enough anymore. Um, it's not good enough to be the best company in the world. You have to be the best company for the world. And to do that, you have to treat your customers like people because that's what they are. They're not uh, a means to an end. They're not a commission check waiting to happen. Um, in sales and especially in IT, I feel like you have to be more personal. You have to be, um, you have to engage with people and help them because at the end of the day, they're people that are coming to work to earn a paycheck just like you. And they have real problems and issues that they're looking to solve and at Store Magic, we believe that our solution can be something to help them and be an advocate for them. It can be an advantageous technology that they can buy that will help uh, help their organization, not just add to our revenue numbers or uh, or make our sales stats any better. So, um, so yeah, that's just kind of what I talk about. Know what you're for. Go get this book. Read it. It's not that thick. It takes, it's a pretty short read. Um, Jeff is an incredible storyteller. He actually used to work at Chick Fil A. He's a marketer. Um, and yeah, it, just some, some great stories in here. So go check this out. Know what you're for by Jeff Henderson and, uh, and start thinking about it for yourself. What do you want to be known for?